Okay, so thank you for joining me. My name is John Ward. I am going to show you how you can recapture the use of the cash that you made for a major purchase. In this example, I'm going to use a, a car purchase of $30,000, and I'll get into that in more detail. But I wanted to give you the lay of the land on how does this con conceptually work, and that is combining savings and borrowing. So you are going to save money in a specially designed and engineered permanent dividend paying whole life policy as your own banking system. And you are going to leave that money and can continue to contribute to it also, make contributions, but you are never going to interrupt the growth of that savings. Uh, then when you need to purchase something major, you will leverage your savings with the insurance company's money and you will borrow their money. You will pay them back in interest. But what I'm saying is, is that you will recapture that $30,000 again. The only expense you will have is the interest. You will not be giving away the principal like you typically do with a, a, a bank or a auto finance company. Once you pay the interest and the principal, that money is all gone forever, never to work for you again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a piece of software from an insurance company. And I want to make sure that you're getting uh, the view of what I'm doing here. So I'm going to make sure the share it takes me a little extra time. But I just came up with a fictitious person. His name is Nash Logan, and he's 30 years old. And I, I chose a male because male's insurance is slightly more expensive than women's because of the fact that men die earlier. So I wanted to make this sort of the worst case scenario uh, cost wise. All right. So he's in standard health, kind of middle of the road. And then I'm going to choose how much am I going to contribute to my own bank? This is my own banking system. And if I'm going to build a bank, I'm going to put as much money as I can into it. And this is actually the average. But don't get hung up on it. This is the average that my clients are actually putting into a policy, which is $40,000 a year. To be able to continue to do that, I want to add some uh, additional life insurance. And I'll detail that later. I'm just going to skip to a couple different screens here. And then... I'm going to run what we call an illustration. Sorry, too far there. And I'm going to make note of a special section within these uh, illustrations. These may be 15 pages long, the different information about the policies and that kind of thing. And I'd be happy to go over that. And I definitely will if we work together in trying to create an illustration for you. Now, what I want you to make note of is that we have a guaranteed growth in the policy, and then we have what they call non-guaranteed on this side, kind of like two different sides of this illustration. Let's just try to stay focused on the net cash value. This is where if they pay you a dividend that year, which is really profit sharing, and with you, because you are part owner of the insurance company, we use a mutual life insurance company, which means there's no stockholders. The policy owners are the actual owners of the insurance company. And so when they pay a dividend, which they have been paying consecutively for over 100 years, they are going to add it to your cash value and increase your death benefit, actually. As you can see, your death benefit keeps increasing. Now, I want you to focus on this column right here, net cash value. And if you have to pause the video to go get a piece of paper and a pen, please do, because I want you to write down a couple of things. One is year four, right here, I want you to write down 138,954. All right, I also want you to write down year two, which is the year I'm gonna start taking a loan. I want you to write down 62,571. 
sorry, one more number, year five, 180,995, okay? Now, I'm gonna minimize this and then I'm gonna come back and make sure again that I'm sharing so that you can see what I'm doing. So now I've come back into the illustration software and I want to go to the loan section. And I'm gonna take a loan. This is still a uh, Nash login, still same amount. And in year two, because I know I have the cash availability, my net cash value, I'm gonna take out a $30,000 loan. So I'm gonna add that in, whoops, <laughs> my mistake. I don't wanna do 30,000 every year. So let me just make sure that's zeroed out. Okay. And then I am going to try to show you a calculator. So if I took out a three year loan, okay, make sure I'm sharing. So let me slip here and share. And if it took out a $30,000 loan, 36 months, 6% interest, this is another number you could write down, $912.66 per month times 12, and you will find that that's $10,951.90. And now I'm gonna go back to the illustration software and let's share that. And now for three years, actually, let me go up here. I'm just gonna do three, I'm gonna do five, but then take away two. I'm gonna put in this 10,951.90 a year for my payments. I did add two extra years I don't need, so I'm gonna get rid of that, all right? Now, I'm gonna run this illustration again and I'm gonna compare it to the other one. So what I'm gonna show is that we took a loan. Ill the first illustration, there was no loan. Well, maybe I can get back to that one and show you that there was definitively, that there was not a loan in that situation. There's a supplementation illustration here supplemental illustration. And so I really don't want to get too caught up in it, but there was interest. You know that you're paying interest whether you borrow from a bank, an auto finance company, or the insurance company. But what I wanted to point out was, as you can see, compared to your number, I think it was 62,000 or so, you only had net cash value of, of 42,000 in year two when you were taking out the loan because you had that outstanding uh, loan, okay? Even though your 60,000 is still growing, I'm just showing you that your net cash value here is 42 compared to that, I think 61 or 62,000. But as you pay off the loan, as you see, there's a zero balance here at the end of year four you still have an asset value of this policy of 138,954. And in year five, you still have that same 180,995. So let me try to show you in the other illustration, just so you feel like you know, you don't know me yet, right? You wanna know that there's um, truth in what I'm saying. Again, you have this supplemental illustration loan section. And if I go to the first illustration we created, see if I can get there, make sure I'm sharing it. And now, if I go to that same section, there is no supplemental illustration called loan. So, but you ended up with the same net cash value in year five, four, <clears throat> and again, there was that 62. You saw that there was less cash value or, or available cash to be borrowed from, but 
you re recouped all of it once you paid back that loan. Again, you were only paying back. You were leveraging your money. Your money was still sitting there growing and you got the car and you ended up with the same asset value here. And it just continues to grow and grow and grow. Um, I can show a little bit more as you get down to say, let's say you're 30, 30 year old male. So it's 65, the net cash value is gonna be 2.8. It's not just what it's worth at that point. It means that you were able to leverage all this cash in this column throughout all these years, borrow it, pay, pay it back, borrow maybe for uh, an asset that will also make money for you, right? That it's getting a return. So not only would your money be working for you inside the policy, but it would be working for you outside the policy. So that's the, the gist of the story. Please reach out. My name is John Ward. My number is 603-479-2511. And my email address is john, J-O-H-N at Nash, N-A-S-H, cash, C-A-S-H, flow, F-L-O-W dot com. And I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks for your time and look forward to sharing more. Bye for now.